the land of fire and ice, Iceland has always captivated the world with its stunning natural landscapes, unique culture, and quirky traditions. But beyond the glaciers and hot springs lies a darker side to this Nordic nation. A world of mysterious legends, gruesome folklore, and chilling secrets that have remained hidden for centuries. Want to know about the darkest secrets of Iceland? Then stick to the end of the video to discover the hidden side of Iceland that'll leave you both fascinated and terrified. So without further ado, let's start. 1. Did you know that Iceland is a pretty unique place when it comes to names? Unlike most countries, people in Iceland don't have surnames or family names. That's right, no Johnson, Smiths, or Garcias here. Of course, there are a few exceptions, like the famous Icelandic author Halder Laxness. But as a general rule, Icelanders go by their first names and their father's name, like Olafur Magnusson or Gudrun Johnsdottir. Some foreigners who marry into Icelandic families might adopt a family name, but it's pretty rare. 2. Now that's not the only cool thing about Iceland. This is the Engvallir National Park. And guess what? This national park is geographically significant because it's one of only two spots on the planet where you can see the physical separation of two tectonic plates. Yeah, that's right. You can actually see the North American and Eurasian plates colliding in the Atlantic Ocean. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even dive between the two plates in a place called Silfra. 3. Now you might think a cold country like Iceland would have no hot spots, but that's where you'd be wrong. There are natural hot springs in almost every county in Iceland, thanks to all the geothermal activity underneath the ground. So even in the dead of winter, you can take a dip in the wild pool and warm yourself up. 4. But let's talk about the Icelandic language for a moment. It's notoriously difficult to learn words like Eyjafjallajökull. Remember that famous volcano that erupted a few years ago? That's its name. And they have over 100 words to describe wind. But don't worry, most Icelanders also speak English so you won't have too much trouble getting by. 5. Now what do Icelanders drink? The answer is a Brennivin, of course. This liquor is made from grain mash and flavored with Icelandic herbs. It used to come in a bottle with a white skull and a black label, which earned it the nickname Black Death. 6. Did you know that Icelanders work harder than almost anyone else in Europe? Yep, on average, they work a whopping 45 hours per week. That's more than your typical American. But hey, at least they have plenty of time to cozy up with a good buck. 7. Speaking of bugs, Iceland publishes more books per capita than any other country in the world. Can you believe that 1 in 10 Icelanders will publish a book in their lifetime? No wonder reading is such a beloved pastime there. If you're ever in Iceland, be sure to check out its impressive bookstores and libraries. 8. Oh, and did you hear that 11% of Iceland is covered by glaciers? That's right, glaciers are one of the main attractions in Iceland, and there are almost 269 named ones to explore. And don't forget about Europe's largest glacier, Vatnajökull, which is equivalent to three times the size of Luxembourg or Rhode Island. 9. Now let's talk about the national colors of Iceland. You see, the red in their flag represents volcanic fires, white for snow and ice, and blue for the ocean. Pretty clever, right? 10. Moving on to animals, the Icelandic horse is one of the purest breeds in the world. These muscular equines can grow long hair in the winter and shorter hair in the summer, making them immensely adaptable to Iceland's ever-changing weather. They're also known to be friendly and curious, so don't be surprised if one comes up to say hello. 11. Have you ever wanted to see the Northern Lights? Well, Iceland is one of the best places to experience this spectacular natural light show. Just remember that the best time to witness the Aurora Borealis is from September to March, but even then, it's never a guarantee. 12. Icelanders love playing sports. Football, basketball, and volleyball are all popular pastimes, but handball is actually their national sport. So if you're ever in Iceland, be sure to catch a game or even try your hand at playing. 13. Oh, Icelanders and their love for ice cream. Our buddies in Reykjavik swear it's the perfect first date idea. Who needs fancy dinner plans when you can bond over a cone of creamy goodness? It's so popular that even when the weather turns ugly, people still line up for their fix. And let me tell you, those lines can stretch all the way to the street. 14. While the rest of us wait for Santa to come down the chimney, Icelandic kids get visits from the 13 Yule lads. And boy, are they a quirky bunch. 
From the pot licker to the door slammer, each lad has their own distinct personality and habits, and if you've been good, you might get a little something from them. But if you've been naughty, well, let's just say you might want to sleep with one eye open. 15. Did you know that Iceland's national parliament, the Althing, is one of the oldest in the world? It's been around for centuries, and the original site remains open for visitors. Sure, it might look slightly different now, but the same old institution is still kicking. It's like a history lesson coming to life. 16. Speaking of kicking, did you know Iceland's population is tiny compared to other places? Like, really tiny. We're talking about 360,000 people living in an area that's one-tenth the size of San Francisco. That's why there's so much untouched nature to explore. It's like having your own private wilderness to roam around in. 17. Now let's talk about Icelandic cuisine. You've probably heard of the infamous fermented shark dish called Hakarl. Most locals don't actually eat it, but it's still the country's most famous food. If you're not feeling adventurous enough for that, though, there's always the classic Icelandic hot dog or pisler. It's not your average ballpark frank either. It's made with Icelandic lamb plus a little bit of pig and beef for good measure. And if you're lucky, you might even get to try it with a famous mayo caper mustard herb remoulade. Yum! 18. Let me tell you something really interesting about Iceland. It's one of the safest countries in the world, which means you can rest easy knowing you won't have to worry about any violent crimes. And get this, they don't even have a standing army. I guess when you have a small population of just over 333,000 people, everyone knows each other and there's a sense of trust that builds up. 19. They don't have a lot of trees. Apparently, the Vikings who settled there centuries ago chopped down most of the trees and they haven't really recovered since. And even though they've tried to reforest the land, the volcanic soil doesn't allow for many trees to take root. So if you're planning a hike, be prepared to navigate some lava rocks instead of a forest. 20. But here's something cool about Iceland. The water is so clean that you don't have to buy bottled water. You can drink straight from the taps, lakes, rivers, and streams without any worry. It's even said to be extra hydrating, so drink up. 21. Oh, and don't even think about giving your future child a wacky name if you move to Iceland. They have an official register of approved names that parents can choose from, and there's even a list of band names. If you have your heart set on an unapproved name, you'll need to get approval from a special committee. Who knew naming a baby could be so official? 22. Let me tell you about Icelanders and their obsession with sauce. These folks just can't get enough of the stuff, whether it's gravy, bernays, or any other condiment they can get their hands on. I mean, the sauce is practically a religion over there. They coat everything in the stuff. If you want fries with that, better make sure you have a side of sauce to go with it. 23. But the sauce obsession isn't the only thing that makes Icelanders unique. Have you ever heard of speaking of inhalation? Yeah, it's a thing over there. When Icelanders say ja or nay, they often do it on the inhale. And if you hear them say jaja, well, good luck figuring out what that means. It can mean pretty much anything depending on the situation. It might sound strange to those of us who aren't used to it, but for Icelanders, speaking of inhalation is just another part of their language. 24. In Iceland, parents leave their babies outside in open gardens or on porches. Why, you may ask? Well, apparently, it's for the baby's own good. The fresh air helps develop their respiratory and immune system, while parents can continue their adult conversations without any interruptions. I know what you're thinking. What about safety? It's a valid concern, but here's the thing. Iceland has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Even in Reykjavik, the capital city, violent crime is rare. Child abductions? Almost unheard of. So as shocking as it may seem to leave your baby outside unattended, in Iceland, it's considered pretty safe. 25. But I'm apprehensive about what's happening in Iceland. It's been tough for the locals lately with all the political turmoil. In 2008, there was a massive financial collapse that caused riots and even led to the fall of the leading political party. Then a new party was assembled, which actually did pretty well. But now, get this. They went ahead and re-elected the same party responsible for the crash a few years earlier. It's really concerning how quickly people forget, you know, and it doesn't stop there. The official assembly wrote a new constitution, but the government didn't approve it, 
and all changes that could improve the situation seemed to keep getting swept under the rug repeatedly. It's like the people in power don't care about what the public wants. And that's all for now. We hope this video has given you a glimpse of the wonder and beauty that Iceland has to offer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos and inspiration. Thanks for watching.